This will be a review on the website Rasterbator. And it is a way for you to create wall size images from a single JPEG. Um, scrolling over here are some examples of what you can create with this website. I typically use it to take an image and blow it up to a poster size version of that image so I can point things out to my students. Um, you can go all the way up into wall size. So you can see some of the examples are small poster size versions and some of them are going to take up an entire wall. Uh, this website is free so both you and your student can use it and it's relatively simple to use so long as you have a high quality JPEG that you will be uploading to the website. The site will also let you order prints if you'd like or you can print them yourself. So I'm going to show the print yourself version which I think most teachers are going to end up using. Um, once it's started up you can do one of two things. You could either load the image for a URL. I would just be careful to make sure that the image you're selecting is a high quality image. If you don't select a high quality image it's going to come out very pixelated and fuzzy. Um, if you do know of a site that is offering a high quality image, you can go ahead and type in or paste the URL. Or you can upload on your own. So just so you know, you can't upload a PDF picture. Um, you'd have to convert that over to either a JPEG, a PNG image, or a GIF format. So any of these three images will work for this website. So I'm just going to go ahead and select this image here that I'd like to blow up and then just hit the upload button. Um, you could also drag files into this little box here. Once your image has finished uploading um, you'll notice there's a silhouette of a person in the background and this will give you an idea as far as the scale of your poster goes. And so you can change the size to either be four pages wide or four pages high. So if I change this to four pages high, it's almost going to be as tall as a, a person. And you can go ahead and change this to whatever dimension you want. And you can see how the silhouette is changing over in the background. So if you wanted to create something gigantic as tall as a person, you could. It would take up this many pages though. So just be aware that's how many pages would be going through your printer. Now I'm going to go ahead and change this to two pages high. Um, once I'm ready, just hit that continue button and you'll have a few options here and it'll give you a preview of what your image would look like. Now normally I'm going to use no effect so I can get the full image the way that I wanted it, but depending on what you want to do um, with the image, like I said, you can change a few things. I'm just going to go ahead and hit continue. Um, this is usually when you use the dots to print out your, your image. You can change a few of the things um, here as well. But normally I don't. I, I leave it as is. So here uh, you can go ahead and add page numbers so it's easier to put together. Normally I, I find that putting it together is, is relatively easy, especially with some of the small images. Um, but once you're set, just click on the last button. And once it's done, it's going to download into a PDF file. And so when you're ready, just click that open. And uh, this is what it's going to look like. So you would just print out these pages and put them together with a little bit of tape. Or you could have your students print these out and put them together as well. So you'll notice there's these little cropping marks uh, where it was that option to add on the page markers so that you can line them up. If you don't want those little squares, you can just uncheck the mark and you won't see them. And so that's a review of the website Rasterbator. Uh, it's a great way to create large poster size or even wall size images for your classroom. Um, your students can use it. Uh, it's, it's a free tool with a lot of other options that I didn't get a chance to play with, but I recommend you go back and just try a couple of things and see how it goes. So hopefully you found it useful.